Black Fly presents Five Rumors That Caused Mass Panic. The New York Herald was an influential newspaper that was prominent throughout the world during the 1870s. However, the paper was part of a stunt that was widely criticized. The Herald published an article on the front page of the paper on November the 9th, 1874, that stated all the animals in Central Park Zoo had escaped. They stated that a lion was found inside a church, a rhino in the sewer, and more. It went on to claim that both the National Guard and the city police were fighting the animals to get them under control, but that 49 people had been killed by the escapees and over 200 people injured. Number 2. January the 16th, 1926 was an eventful night for citizens of London when the BBC radio disrupted the broadcasting of a speech from Edinburgh to make a breaking news announcement. The announcement stated that there was a mob of unemployed workers who were running wild in the streets of London. The broadcast went on to warn that the mob was looting businesses and homes as well as destroying everything that fell in their line of sight. Listeners were horrified and anxiously listened to the radio reports that continued to provide alarming updates, such as the National Gallery had been attacked. They even went on to say that Parliament was being attacked with trench mortars. The announcement shocked listeners by stating Big Ben and the clock tower had fallen to the ground in a heap of rubble and that the Minister of Traffic, Mr. Wotherspoon, had been captured by the mob. The announcement went one step further as they alleged that the Minister of Traffic had been hanged from a lamppost in Vauxhall. Number 3. October 30, 1938. Listeners of the CBS radio were informed that they were about to hear the music of Ramon Raquello and his orchestra. A few minutes after the live performance began to air, an announcement interrupted the performance. The reporter said that astronomers discovered blue flames erupting from the surface of Mars. The program returned to the music for a short period of time before another interruption. The announcement informed listeners that a meteor had crashed into the Earth, landing on a farm near Grover's Mill, New Jersey. A news reporter was quickly on the scene to describe the event in detail to the public. The reporter reported that the meteor was not a meteor at all, but rather it was a spaceship. From the spaceship emerged an odd tentacled creature who roasted nearby citizens with a heat ray. Number 4. It was during the evening of May the 29th, 1947, when the Armed Forces Radio in Tokyo interrupted the broadcast with a frightening news update. They said that a 20-foot sea monster had come up out of the waters of Tokyo Bay and was heading towards land. Bulletins continued to dominate the airwaves as the movements of the sea monster were tracked. News of its arrival in downtown Tokyo was followed by descriptions of the creature destroying downtown and derailing trains. The bulletin went on to inform citizens that troops were battling the giant dragon, but bullets were not stopping the creature. Troops were resorting to flamethrowers and bombs in an attempt to impede the monster's progress. Listeners were warned to remain indoors, to barricade themselves in and keep the phone lines clear for emergency calls. One listener later stated that the reports continued to broadcast at a frantic pace and included harrowing rescues and escapes, movements of weapons and tanks and all stuff that would have the makings of a truly epic tale. He went on to say, that updates were accompanied by screams, roars and shrieks of both beast and panic-stricken civilians. Number 5. A warning was broadcast repeatedly to television viewers on September the 19th, 1994 in Taiwan, China. A blank screen with a message scrolling across warned of a Sibuxiang beast, a mythical creature whose bite was said to be fatal was in fact real and on the loose. The broadcast warned that the creature was heading straight for the city. The news went on to report that within days, the Sibuxiang beast will have entered thousands of homes. It turned out that the Sibuxiang was real, but it wasn't an animal. It was a new brand of liquor that had been released, and the report was actually an advertisement. The report ended with the phrase, plotted by Jingxin Advertising. But by then, people were so panic-stricken that they missed that part. Because of all the chaos that ensued following the ad, the creator of the ad was fined 5,000 yuan, $590 by the Chinese authorities. 
the ad was effective, as the incident was discussed on the news all over China, making the brand well-known overnight. Three months following the ad, Jing Huiyuan, the creator of the ad, said his client base had quadrupled. Thank you for watching yet another amazing video. Please do subscribe for many more.